And it's uh, the Morning Brew. We're back with you here. I'm Larry Aarons with Amber Hendren. It's spring. Yes. Time to get in the garden and garden. <laughs> and you know what happens when you garden? You get bugs. And it's a real pleasure to uh, bring to uh, the Morning Brew a guy I've known for years. He used to be a regular on my radio show. Uh, Richard the Bugman Fagerland. How you doing, Bugman? I'm doing fine. I can't great, complain. Great to see you. You too. How many interviews did we do over the years? Oh, 50 or 60 probably. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. I always have the bug man on the show. Well, I'm glad you're on the TV show. Thanks for coming. Thanks for inviting me. I have so many questions for you. As an avid <laughs> gardener, I feel like the only thing I ever successfully raise are bugs. <laughs> and, of course, we don't want to use toxic pesticides on our, you know, on our, on our flowers no. and on our squash. What can I do for squash bugs? Squash bugs, you can... Uh, Dust the area around the plants on the ground with diatomaceous earth food okay. grade. Diatomaceous earth. So do I put it, it's kind of this cakey white substance. It's I don't a, know it's if you're a powder. It's I right. love saying diatomaceous earth because it right. makes me sound so smart. Um, but, okay, so you, you sprinkle it around. Yeah, put it around plant? the plants. Not literally on the plant. No. Okay, so last year. <laughs> I just kind of shook it, dumped it all over my plants. They were all white. <laughs> it just looked ridiculous. And it didn't work. The, the bugs, it's almost like it fortified the squash bugs. Uh, they crawl on the ground to get to the plants, so you can just put it on the ground. And then put a board, a small board, flat board, on the ground around the plants, and the squash bugs will hide under there in the daytime. And then you can pick the board up and remove them. That's all I do. I'm not going to say step on them. You can do whatever you want with them. Okay. Just release them. Give them to the neighbor? Them. Yeah. <laughs> just, what about aphids? Aphids you can spray with, uh, there's a lot of stuff in the garden shop that's fairly uh, benign you can spray. You can spray with soap and water. Soap and water? Yeah. Okay. Just be I sure heard soap that ladybugs kill, actually right? uh, eat the aphids, so I bought a bunch of ladybugs, and that's now they're the hanging out on the wall. They're not eating no, the aphids. That, that's, a, that's a gimmick. Most it's a eat. gimmick. Yeah. Oh. Okay, ladybugs so will just, soap uh, and water, I mean, spray they're, they're it. Gonna just fly, they may need a couple of ladybugs, but they're going to fly around the neighborhood and eat everybody else's ladybugs. I mean, everybody else. And feed the birds. Yeah. Uh, bug man, you've been in the biz a long time. 45 huh? years. How'd you get interested in bugs? Well, <clears throat> 45 years ago in Florida, I needed a job. I was working in a car wash, and I didn't like that job. And I didn't know a cat caterpillar from a cockroach, but I got a job in the pest control industry, and uh -huh. they hired me for 80 bucks a week, and they had me spray baseboards around the house and all that. And uh -huh. I asked the guy, I said, why am I spraying baseboards? Well, you got to kill time in the customer's house. It's a gimmick. Oh. And, I was, and it was true that it's true now. Spraying baseboards is really silly. It's just a gimmick. No and, kidding. Yeah. It doesn't so, do any good. No, and the bugs don't run along baseboards. I mean, may kill one occasionally. And, and we do. It's probably we, not the healthiest we, you know, thing to put in your house. When you when you think about how much when you spray chemicals, one percent of the chemicals you spray will actually kill a pest. The other ninety nine percent of them pesticides will pollute the planet. Mm. And we spray schools with it, which is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. We spray public buildings without telling anybody, which is ridiculous. I mean, it's just, uh, and pesticides kill more people. Black widows kill three people every two years. Pesticides kill thousands of people every year. Hmm. What's more dangerous, a black widow or a, a can of raid? I don't get it. Yeah. It's, it's just ridiculous. That, uh, you know, and it's okay to keep black widows because they also eat bugs. Yeah, and they're not, they're not I pick them up. I mean, mm -hmm. I, they, it, I, I send Jonathan pictures of them, and uh, I got one on my face. I mean, it's, we saw the, that. The only, the only time they bite if you squeeze them. Okay. Just like anything else, they'll fight back. But if you just so pick you just them up, pick and, them up carefully yeah. and take them outside. Yeah, I got a wood pile oh, in my yard, is. and I just put them in the wood pile. Yeah, well, you should be careful around that, right? Or, or, or do you have anything to fear with black widow spiders? Oh, I've, been bit. A black widow. I've been bitten. I've been bitten. It ruins your day. <laughs> it ruins your yeah. day. <laughs> I mean, I, I get bit under a house about 30 years ago up in Farmington, and I drove back, and and I sat in the couch. I sat in my sat couch for a couple of days, and my wife just bought me beer. And, Beer and sugar and food and <laughs> I don't drink anymore, but I mean I know they did it, but uh, I didn't go to the hospital. So Bugman, what are some of the other common bug questions you get? What are the Well ants are the most common ants? pests in New Mexico. I mean everybody get ants. Mm -hmm. Right. And the thing is you gotta know what kind of ants they are because the ants have different breeding habits and different feeding habits. So uh, you gotta get somebody out if you're gonna call somebody, make sure they know how to identify them. There's no such thing as a sugar ant, because all ants like sugar. Mm -hmm. That's right. just a generic name. Right. Well, there's black ants and red ants, basically. Yeah. And, and well, there's one, big ones and big small ones. Big ones and little ones. Yeah. <laughs> one pest control guy told me there's two, two kinds of ants in Mexico. 
inside ants and outside ants. <laughs> and he was a he was a supervisor for a large company. Right. And uh, and that scared me. I mean, this this, this is the industry. But I, I've had the little tiny ants of all places invade our laundry room. Hmm. Black ants. Um, yeah. And you live up in Sandia Heights. Yes. They're probably pavement ants. Pavement ants. Yeah. They're they're common up in Tanawan and and far northeast heights. Yeah. They live underneath the slabs of houses. They call it pavement ants because they live under big rocks or slabs of houses. Uh -huh. And there's millions of them. Yeah. And they come up through the cracks of the foundation or a right. pressure joint. Why do they want to do my laundry? They're looking for water. That's <laughs> all. Oh, I see. It's so dry. <laughs> it's so dry out now. It's so dry out now. There's so much, uh, so little water outside. All the bugs are trying to would be going to your houses, looking for water. And where you live up there, you're gonna get bugs out of the mountains coming down. Sure. Because they need water. And then west side, they'll, they'll get bugs out of the desert. It's gonna be really buggy. Because the, we irrigate town, and the bugs know that. Sort of the bears, everything else. So what yeah. can Larry do about the ants? Well, the pavement ants you have take baits. I mean, they, they're really good at taking the sweet bait. Yes. Like taro bait, but you gotta wait. I mean, it's you guess they, so many ants in the colony. It might take you a month before you put a dent in the colony. Yeah. Just gotta be patient. The, You're not gonna kill them overnight or get rid of them overnight. Yeah. What about mosquitoes? Mosquitoes? Did wear a good non-deet mosquito repellent. Don't wear deet because deet's a chemical, mm -hmm. and you have reactions to that. People I can't do. believe they're still selling deet. And now, and, they and the government recommends it, and the FDA does, but. No, you, FDA. You get, more more mosquitoes in the valley, don't you, than where yeah, I live? Yeah, you get more mosquitoes in the Bosque. It's so fun because every time that, you know, in the summer, I'll be rollerblading on the on the trail, and there's going to be some reporter digging up some story about West Nile virus, <laughs> the evergreen story of the West Nile virus. We have, we have uh, 55 kinds of mosquitoes in New Mexico. 18 of them carry diseases. Eight of those carry West Nile virus. Uh, now, geez. a good exterminator will tell you which, I, I can look at a mosquito and tell you what kind it is. No kidding. Oh, yeah, I can. And, and an exterminator should be able to, but most of them probably can't. And I always check my mosquitoes in my yard and, and see if they're good mosquitoes or bad mosquitoes. I wish I could tell. I oh, wish I knew the difference. It's not hard. No. You can tell by the way they stand. Okay. Well, I feel like I'm just tapping into knowledge here. Okay, what do you do about gnats? We've had gnat problems before. Besides eating. Okay, uh, yeah. there, there's Inhale different them. kinds of gnats. So I need yeah, to know. The little guys, you know, that irritate the heck out of you. Are they in the house or outside? Outside. No CMs, possibly? Yeah, well, they buzz your ear and... No, they're just little black gnats. They, they, well, you lived in that much you can do about it, because they're coming out of the mountains, too. Yeah. Yeah, you can't do anything about them. I mean, when you live in New Mexico, you're going to you're gonna encounter bugs. Mm -hmm. It's right. just a sign of the, sign of the, you know, the times. Yeah. Of, Not as bad as Florida, but still, we have bugs. No, yeah, and, and they need moisture, and they come to town because the moisture's in town. And, uh, and if, you, if you go to mosquitoes, don't drink beer. We're curious about this picture that we have of some wasps here on chicken, or is, are those bees? Yeah, yeah those wasps. are yellow jackets. They feed up by hand. They feed on chicken. Really? Yeah. And, uh, and that was a mistake because uh, they, lived, they lived under my porch. They used to come on my porch all the time, and I just feed them. Uh -huh. and you can see they're beating out of my hand. Are they carnivores? Yeah, in the, in the fall they are. They, they, they beef up on protein in the fall. No, so but they the, like yeah, chicken. Yeah, but the, uh, unfortunately the chicken killed them. I had a real said time the chicken has arsenic oh. in it, and the arsenic and the chicken kill all, all, all the things. So I would, well, I would never eat chicken anyway. But I mean, if you eat chicken, you're gonna eat arsenic. I had no idea. Huh. Did you? No. I never knew there was arsenic in chicken. Yes, but the FDA says it's just a small amount, so it doesn't care. It doesn't matter. Uh -huh. Now I know but you have. But enough to kill the bees and the wasps. Yeah, Richard, I know you have a book out. Several. Uh, yeah. Several books. Yeah. Where can people find your the books of, about bugs in New Mexico? Uh, on my website. Uh, uh, Bugman's bugclub.com. Bug club? Bug club. <laughs> it's a it's a club where I help people with the bugs. If they if they join the club, they get a copy of the book, download it, and then uh -huh. I'll, I'll help them for the rest of life with bugs. If they have any bug problems, I'll just uh, ask me and I'll help you. What a guy. I know. I need to get that book. <laughs> and I, I sent a copy to Jenna, so she should have copies yeah. to you guys. Yeah. I might and, need to be borrowing that. Uh, that should be in our library. Bugman is so knowledgeable about bugs around New Mexico, as you can tell. So if you have a strange bug or something that's pestering your garden or house, he's the man to call. So what happens if I leave my roses alone and the aphids just leave them alone? What will they eventually do to my Nothing. plants? I mean, plants and bugs get along. Okay. If the aphids kill the roses, kill the plants that they eat, then they would have anything to eat. Uh -huh. I mean, they'll eat a few leaves and, and do that, but they'll grow back. But my roses will actually <clears throat> bloom and they'll be okay? Sure. Okay. 
The aphids because live under the leaf, right? Yeah, they, they hide under the leaf, yeah. right? Because those squash yeah. bugs, they tore through my entire crop. There was no stopping them. Now you they, know what to do. Put the put the board down. Now I know put what a to bunch do. of board down. I wish I'd known you before. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad to meet you. <laughs> I'm in the papers. So. Yeah, I need to. <laughs> I'm in the alibi. <laughs> okay, and I know your number now. I've got your card, see? Richard, the bug man, Fregerlin, with us today. It's good to see you again. It's been a long time. Me too. Good to have you back uh, on, on, in the circle here. And uh, if you have bug problems, get hold of the bug man. Amber and I will be back in just a moment with Rico more. the dog. We've got dogs. Rico's coming. Yeah, come He's on. A we'll have that next.